Hello everyone, this is Ibo and welcome back to yet another AFK journey video. So for this AFK journey video, this topic I'm going to talk about is super duper important in the long run. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a feature which is going to change the power level of your account across many months because uh, this feature is the guild chest feature. So before you guys uh, are wondering why, why is he saying that it's super important, let me explain why. So for the guild chest feature, basically when you're in the guild itself, you go to this guild chest. So every single week at the start of the week, right, your guild leader, myself over here, is going to distribute to you the guild chest, right? So the guild chest system is based off how many chests are available in your guild, what's the requirement for the guild, as well as um, the bonus chest that your leaders decide to give to each and every other member. So I'm going to showcase from a leader's point of view how it looks like in terms of the guild chest system and then talk about why it is so important. So without further ado, when you go into the guild chest, at the start of every week, you can choose between wish hero recruitment as well as wish exclusive equipment resources. So um, this is basically the rewards that you'll get, right? If you choose the, the, the specific um, like box, right? Um, there's a higher chance to get like for example if you choose the equipment one you'll get all the essence if you choose the recruitment one you'll get all the summoning tickets itself so usually i'll go for the wish hero recruitment because um, my tidal essence income is pretty stable my temporal essence i can buy it from the shop so usually i'll go for recruitment because i i want more stella crystal so i'm just gonna click on it all right so i click on this claim this one so wow, I'm giving myself the chest. Oh wait, this is another member. So yeah, I got a chest every single week. By the way, this is every single Monday. So once you open the chest, they'll tell you how many chests you get. So we have chest 75. So that's the max that everybody can get at the base, right? Subsequently, or rather, the, the 75 is the max chest you, you can actually get before the remaining chests are converted into guild medals. So over here, as you guys can see, I got 4,291 medals. So this is from the guild chest, or rather the additional guild chest from this box itself. So the reason why this chest is super important is because this number adds up, right? The more additional guild chest you get beyond the 75 mark, later we're going to look at all the rules and TLDRs, but the more chests you get, the more guild coins you get over the course of the month. So you get it every single week. Imagine my income of 4,200 every single week. That's roughly like 16,000, 17,000 coins every single month. And it adds up. So after every two months, I'm guaranteed one Celestial Search Hippogen unit. So as the most powerful group of unit in the game, the ability to get them as fast as possible, the ability to get them as early as possible, and as many copies as possible is invaluable. So that's why I say guild chest is super duper important. So other than that, other than having all the, the guild medals itself, right? You got all the books for your progression. At my, my stage, it doesn't really matter too much except for resonance synergy. Then we have go. Then obviously, as you open the chest, you get all sorts of goodies over here. And all these wish uh, items with the, the items with the wish on top, they are basically from the types that you choose. So if you choose the summoning path, you'll get all the summoning related ones. So invite letter, and then you get soul stone. If you choose the weapon path, you'll get the essence, right? Your temporal as well as your tidal essence. So that's how the, the rewards work for this uh, chest. So let us move on to how it works in terms of the distribution. How do you get more chests? What do you do to get more chests? So I'm, I'm showing you guys from a leader's perspective. So if you take a look at the guild chest, for those of you guys who are not very familiar with um, the, the rules and stuff, right? There's this I button over here. So I'm going to click on it. If you take a look at the rules, right? Each guild, right? You can earn guild choice for your guild by achieving high ranks during the corresponding tally of the ranking. Doesn't matter. Guild chests will be granted when all guild coins reward are claimed from weekly guild quests and the acquisition amount of guild chests is based on the quantity of active guild members from the last week. Okay, so what this means is that how do you get your guild chest? Your guild chest is contributed by individual members. So over here is zero. I'm going to show you guys how it works. So we have your guild quest over here. So you claim every single thing. I don't know whether or not I can hit the 7,000 mark. I don't think so. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I don't think I can hit the 7,000 mark, but basically what happens is um, you contribute to the guild chest by doing your 
the guild rewards and once you finish up the quest itself the more additional quests you do the more chests you actually contribute to your guild right so all the guilds or the rather all the chests are from this uh, contribution ranking so you'll be able to see the total amount of chests that all the members contribute and then from there you know you can see who contributed less who contributed more and it could be something that the leader consider in terms of guild building so for the the distribution is as such right so the guild chest will be distributed to all members based on rules every sunday at 2400 utc so the guild leader can modify the distribution rule so if a guild acquires over 1200 chests in a week they will receive extra chests at the start of next week if the guild leader can manually distribute these bonus chests to these designated members okay so for this one right if you go into this my guild has an additional 1800 chests from last week which we can use to redistribute to uh, other members right as additional rewards so i'll showcase this later but the most important thing that you guys need to know is you want to join an active guild where the members are actively doing their quest contributing the chess to the guild so that it can be distributed to all the members based on the rules so over here as a leader we are able to modify the rules so there's actually two different rules right now previously there's one more which is a glory point distribution i feel that that's the best because um the sh the, the the higher rankings you are the more rewards you'll get right so it encourages people to be more competitive and then from there you'll get more chess because uh, people are competitive so right now we only have activeness uh, ratio as well as eco distribution i'm basing it on activeness ratio because um activeness ratio basically is how active the member is on their weekly quest so how active they are in the game and uh eco distribution is basically everybody gets the same amount which i think is super unfair because there are, there'll be people that doesn't do much to contribute to the guild anyway so i'd rather go with the the lesser of the demons right i, I choose the less like i think both of these are pretty bad but um the activeness one is better if you're a guild leader do consider this right i think eco distribution is damn bad like you don't keep the competitive players in your guild like they don't get more by doing better so i'd rather be active right i'd rather people be active and people be actively trying to improve themselves so that's the rationale for this distribution and then you can modify the minimum activeness in order to claim your guilds so as you as you drag this thing right you can see our members must complete how many quests to reach 400 so on and so forth so i max it out at 400 because i feel that um 10 quests is really easy to hit like if you are actively playing the game then quest is super easy but depending on your server condition depending on your guild condition modify this accordingly then you can do a preview so you will be able to see what's the activeness of your guild members over here and then once they hit the activeness you'll be able to gain a portion of the chest so as you guys can see so i, I done my 400 so we get four chests and then we save right so this will be the modification for the guild so uh later on all the members will receive a mail hold on yeah later on all the members will actually receive a mail to talk about the distribution rules modified it doesn't really matter that much as long as the leaders are communicating the idea so moving back into the guild chess portion right so over here we have a different guild chess uh, ranking and tally i'm not going to talk too much about it you guys can visit it within the the uh, the, the the icon over here the eye icon over here so uh, the the idea of this guild chest is i'll say is to encourage people to be active to contribute to the guild and then it's up to the leader to distribute the resources such that um it feeds the idea of the guild right if you want to encourage strong people to stay in your guild obviously you need some sort of ways to encourage them and then this next feature the extra chest distribution will be a really important one so over here we have the public chest so this public chest basically if i put all 100 i have 180 right from last week extra so just now remember there's this uh maximum you can get and then the rest goes into the extra so i can put all 180 over here right to get 180 chest distribution so this one will actually be split to the guild equally every single one equally personally depending on the conditions of a guild you can do this i think if your guild is super duper active and you want everybody to benefit and your spenders as well as your competitive players that are fine with that i think it's perfectly fine you can stick to that or you can set a rule for your guild for example um like a top activeness ranking right top glory point ranking top arena ranking in the server etc etc so as a leader this is just a, a little secret as a leader you can do what you can do is do this okay oh so you can only give yourself 150 max so what you can do is do this so on top of the chest i'm getting a bonus of 150 at the end of next week 
So this is really good, right? This is what you can do if you decide to be a behind the scene mastermind. They don't care about your guild. Personally, as a good leader that I am, I don't do that. I do like, I, we have a set of rules for my guild. So uh, I will distribute the chest accordingly based on the performance towards the end of the week. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this uh, simple guild chest video. Super duper important, by the way, because in the long term, right? Like this resource is going to stack up and your Hippogene slash Celestial unit is really important. So it's, it's important to join an active guild. It's important to join a guild where the leader bothers about this kind of stuff. Right here, as you guys can see, the more for all tab, right? There's actually this chest quantity. So this one basically showcases the total number of chests that all the members have contributed. So if everybody's doing their guild quest actively and everybody's hitting every requirement, then there'll be a lot of chests to be distributed in the guild. So obviously more active guild, the better. And once you reach the 1.2k mark, as mentioned here, right? Um, the remaining chest will be distributed into the bonus chest where the leader can redistribute in the coming week. So that's how it works. So obviously, more active chests, I mean the more active guilds, more additional chests, the more rewards everybody can distribute. So even if like the leader just do this uh, public chest distribution, distribute all the chests equally, uh, it's also better for everyone like because there's 30 members, so every member is going to get... Um, six additional chests not a lot or you can reward the top few rankers like maybe your mega whales or your really strong players so that their their celestial sex hippogene progression is a little bit faster right so that's something which is really really good depending on how you're good distribute personally i wouldn't do equal because there are some members that don't contribute a lot so it's kind of unfair for those who actively contribute unfortunately right sad to say that but it happens so yeah that's it thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe to see more afk journey videos on the channel and i'll see you guys again in my next next video. Bye guys!